Just when you thought it was safe to putt, Here Comes Blades from 1989, written by a lot of people and directed by Thomas R. Rwanda, no, Rondinella. Oh, God. This quirky and campy horror movie has often been referred to as a pastiche of the iconic thriller Jaws, but it's far from your typical horror fare. Despite its seemingly absurd premise, Blades manages to captivate its audience with unexpected effectiveness, surprising viewers who might have dismissed it as just another B-movie. Stick around to find out why. In the tranquil town of East Willard, a seemingly innocent lawnmower becomes the unlikely center of terror. A spirit of malevolence takes possession of the lawnmower, transforming it into a relentless killing machine. As the town's residents go about their daily lives, they find themselves facing a series of gruesome deaths at the hands of the possessed lawnmower. The film clearly plays on the fear of the everyday, turning a mundane object into the source of unrelenting horror. It's a pastiche of the classic monster thriller formula, with a touch of absurdity and humour thrown in. At first glance, Blades might seem like a mere pastiche, drawing parallels to Jaws by substituting a man-eating shark with a murderous lawnmower. However, what sets Blades apart is its surprising effectiveness in creating tension and suspense despite its comical premise. While the filmmakers clearly recognised the humour inherent in their concept, they chose not to rely heavily on gags. Instead, they opted for a more genuine attempt at crafting a thriller taking their campy premise seriously and creating a very strange film indeed. The humour in Blades isn't in your face, it's more subtle, embedded in the absurdity of the situation. This, it, you could also call it just a one joke film, but I'm here for that one joke. While the gags might be few and far between, like I said, the film embraces its own brand of charm. What's surprising is that, despite its focus on pastiche, Blades manages to engage its audience as a thriller, tapping into the tension and fear that characterise more serious horror films. Lloyd Kaufman, president of Troma, has a deeply absurd sense of humour, and the films he distributes, as well as make, uh, reflect that. Blades exemplifies the difference between films distributed by Troma and those produced by Troma themselves. Blades belongs to that pantheon of independent films that should have never been, such as Deadly Daphne's Revenge and Fat Schizo Goes Nutsoid, I think that was another one of them. Um, you know, films that would have never found a home unless Troma uh, existed, you know. So, yay. Some of these films are good, I admit. Um, yeah, let's conclude. In conclusion, Blades is a cinematic oddity that defies expectations. It might have started as a pastiche of Jaws, but it ends up being a surprisingly effective and captivating thriller in its own right. Its unique blend of humour, camp and genuine suspense sets it apart from its peers, despite being about a fucking killer lawnmower. So, if you're in the mood for something offbeat and unexpected, Blades might just be the cult classic you didn't know you needed. And remember, sometimes the most mundane objects can become sources of unimaginable terror. Just look at your smartphone. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Tomorrow's film is The Soul Tangler.